it, it, was, it was great. It was, it, I mean, it was uh, uh, not a whole lot different. You know, uh, I just had more autonomy, and, and I got to be part of the process from the inception to the very end. No, you know? it's funny though. To uh, not Jake or but you know, it's, it's it was easy. These are friends of mine. You know, I had a good crew and uh, a good cast, so the rest of the time here. So. Uh, what else is this? He's a pill popper, a bit of a robot, very narcissistic, huge ego. But it worked out. I mean, was, I had like three it, and I decided, all right, let's, I cleaned up, and went, all right, let's, let's figure out what the symbolism is, you know? Uh, obviously, I was moved by it, in a sense, uh, but, uh, now, you know, it wasn't, it was an idea I've had kicking around, I got a bunch of ideas, some just sit in here, some are on little note cards, and some get thought out through fruition. Uh, uh, um, both. I wrote. I wrote a, a tight script, then encouraged the actors to improvise. Once I got the information that I needed, and uh, a lot of the improv is left in the movie, but you know it has to serve the story. So um, I mean, it's really both. I mean, I made sure we got the script, but I had people I mean, that's why I cast these guys. I mean, they're all adapted. So wherever they go, that was my next question. Was was there a certain character trait we're looking at, and the casting selection? Very stupid people. Uh, well, I, yeah, and I mean, to answer to earlier, I, I, not only are they really good actors, but I, I wanted yeah. I wanted to specifically cast comics to do dramatic parts, because uh, I think um, that's their overlooked quite often, for, uh, and people were always surprised, like, hey, that funny guy is actually acting like a real guy, you know, and, uh, and so, and all these guys are very, very good actors, very adept, uh, but can Improvise. Even within drama, they can improvise. So, what did you experience uh, making the from in front of the amount of time we spent rehearsing this together? Um, you know, it's not that different. I've done, I've Thank produced you. a lot of stuff, Pleasure written stuff. Thank you. So, Thank you. Uh, and even on the, the number of things where I am on camera, uh, if I created, I was always, I was producing it, so I was in editing and all part of the pre-production, the post, and all that stuff. So we're not that different. How long did it take? Uh, I want to know. Yeah. How long did it take? Uh, take? Uh, oh, I can tell you exactly. I think we started pre-production <laughs> in uh, like mid-June, and then we started shooting at on July 29th, I want to say, and then we wrapped on August like, 27th and finished uh, two Fridays ago. This is brand spanking new. Has the oh, yeah. entire cast of seen your film entirely? Uh, yeah, we set up screenings in New York for the New York actors and L.A. for the L.A. actors. You know, especially so they know what they're talking about here, but yeah, they, they've seen it, yeah. And we're at, at what point, or what gives you idea yeah, um, it's an idea I've had kicking around for a long time, and I had come from a Sundance uh, festival two years ago, and I saw some just terrible films that made me angry, and uh, and I was like, fuck, I'm I'm gonna stop complaining, and I'm gonna write my write this idea because I know I can sh shoot it relatively cheaply in upstate New York. It's, it's shot around where I live, and I borrowed locations from friends and, you know, uh, a lot of locals in there and, you know, uh, asked for a lot of favors and did it, wrote it so that I could, I, I knew I could get it made. It wouldn't cost a lot of money to put it together. We're excited. Thank you. All right, thank thanks. You. All right, thank you.